Hey guys, this is Dr. Vikas Sharma. I welcome you all in a new video. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about hyperthyroidism in cats. In the last video, we have talked about hypothyroidism in dogs. If you haven't seen the video yet, please go and must watch that video. The link is in the description. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the reasons of hypothyroidism, then clinical signs, then diagnostic part, then treatment and management part. So all these aspects one by one, we are going to discuss in this video. So first understand the meaning of hyperthyroidism. So when the body produces thyroid in the excess amount, that particular condition is known as hyperthyroidism. And when the thyroid is produced in the less amount, so that condition is known as hypothyroidism. So if we talk about reasons of hyperthyroidism in cats, so mainly neoplasia or tumors. So in older age cats, like cat who is having more than 10 years of age, they have tendency to develop thyroid tumors. So you can feel by your fingers that there is some lump or mass so that is indirectly indicating that your pet may have this hyperthyroidism or tumors in thyroid gland so whenever tumors is there so they will produce more amount of thyroid so that condition is known as hyperthyroidism and the reason is neoplasia or tumor of thyroid now we will talk about clinical signs so as i already explained in the last video that thyroid is responsible for body metabolism so whatever is happening inside the body that is directly or indirectly under the control of this thyroid hormones so once the thyroid is produced in the excess amount metabolism will be very fast if the metabolism is very fast so there is a tendency that pet will lose weight so most important clinical signs is weight loss if your pet is around 10 years of age and he or she is losing body weight continuously, you can suspect that your pet may have this hyperthyroidism issues. Apart from that, your pet appetite will increase. And now you understand the scenario that your pet will eat more amount of food, but the body weight will decrease day by day. So in this case, you can suspect that your pet may have hyperthyroidism issues. So apart from that, there will be polyphasia, polydipsia and polyuria. Polyphasia, I already explained that appetite will increase. Polydipsia means your pet will drink more amount of water. Polyuria means frequent urination will be there. So all these clinical signs mainly seen in case of hyperthyroidism. Apart from that, cardiac issues will be there. Heart rate will increase. Cardiac size, heart size will increase. So all these conditions will be there. So once you find that your pet is losing weight day by day and he is having a more amount of food in that scenario, you have to contact your veterinarian to diagnose the underlying cause. If we talk about diagnosis, so first of all, physical examination. If you palpate this neck area, there will be a lump or hard mass you can feel that is indicating this thyroid enlargement or tumor of thyroid gland. So that is the first diagnostic part, physical examination. Apart from that, blood test is there. You have to check for thyroid profile. If the thyroid hormone is increasing in the amount, so you can suspect that your pet is having hyperthyroidism. You can also go for ultrasound to check the size and shape of this thyroid gland. And once you confirm that thyroid size is increased, you can go for FNAC to check the cytology, whether this is malignant or benign tumor. So all these tools you can use for diagnostic. Now we will talk about treatment and management part. You should always contact your veterinarian for better understanding of diagnosis and treatment part but I will give you a rough idea that how this condition can be treated. So there are different protocols for the treatment. So first of all is radio iodine but this is not quite common. Second option is surgical intervention. So once you diagnose that there is a tumor in the thyroid gland then both the lobes of thyroid will be removed surgically. So this is the second method and third method is anti-thyroid medication so there are several medication that is available so you can use that anti-thyroid medication everything will be done under the guidance of your veterinarian this is all about today's video i hope you found this video useful so please like this video share this video with the pet parents and please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so thank you for watching see you in the next video